Hey, it's Joseph here. Today I'm showcasing a new collaboration solution, Vibe Board, which is a giant interactive whiteboard behind me. So I want to tell you all about it with help of Vibe sponsorship on this video. First of all, I wanted to go over how I receive this board and how I went about setting it up. So let's cue the time lapse. So with one order, I receive two large boxes, one for the board and one for the stand. And the specific model was 55 inch Vibe Board S1. And be sure to open the box by lifting the top box instead of the cutting the top open like I did over here. The board comes with the two passive Vibe styli or styluses. I'm not sure which one is right, but those are included in the box. And this stand was actually in white but they have blue and red versions of the stands as well. I wish I could have done this in a cleaner place, but my garage was the only large place where I can comfortably fit all the parts and show you what is going on. So I've assembled it here. Please excuse me the mess. Since this was during summer, it was a bit hot and I was sweating a bit, but the assembly went smoothly with the help of the assembly manual. Basically, all you do is put the wheels on the stand, rods in the right places as the manual tells you to do so, and tighten the parts with the screws. Once the stand is finished, you can install the board. I left the cover on the screen or the board during this process as I wanted to make sure that my screen doesn't get scratched up by any mistakes that I would make. I definitely recommend getting help from another person or a friend to help you out with the mounting the screen onto the stand, but since I don't have any friends, I've done it all by myself. If it was larger 75 inch board, I would definitely not have been able to do it alone, so do make a friend. Once you lower the screen to the mounting points, you can secure the screen with included screws. There is a VESA mount or the holes meant for VESA mounts to the back of the board, 200 millimeter by 200 millimeter. So you can also mount the board to other stands or onto the wall with other VESA mounts. But I figured it would be easy for me to have a moving stand so I could just kind of wheel this thing around. The smooth wheels allow it to move around quite freely and I can spin it around easily like so. Then it is all finished. The stand is holding the large screen well whilst looking clean. And because of my messy garage, I don't think it's doing the justice, but if the board was set up in a clean office space or showrooms, I think the whole thing's gonna go really well and look nice. And you can see I have ordered all three accessories that Vibe provides. The Vibe Smart Camera, Vibe Stylus, and the Vibe Tab. I'll go further into each of these accessories later, but I can connect the power to the board, press the power button, and it is on. I went through the setup process by connecting into my Wi-Fi and the account and etc. Just follow the steps as it guides you. As soon as I started using it, I immediately noticed how fast and responsive the board was. I've dealt with a lot of touch-enabled devices in the past, and this felt much more smooth and accurate as I use my finger to do the input. I played my own YouTube video as I did the test run. Please excuse the glare on the screen as I did not position the camera so well. In the naked eye, it is not as apparent, but it just captures a lot more harshly on the camera. I've tested the stylus briefly as well. Quickly marking up my drawings and I've tried the quick annotation feature. And why not also try installing the Vibe Smart Camera? It has quite a large lens element, which means quality and has an easy mounting system below the camera and it mounts just that easy. And voila, now I get to show you even more mess on the other side of the garage. Great. So what is Viveboard in simple terms? This is all-in-one smart whiteboard designed to improve communication for AC professionals by showing things. It utilizes easy-to-use cloud-based system and allows you to annotate various files seamlessly. This is beneficial to all architects and architect alike, like myself, who have a lot of reviews, meetings, and presentations daily. 
This workflow will improve both the speed and quality of the meetings to focus on things that actually matters. Why don't I mention a couple of use cases that I thought would come in really beneficial to you. So imagine having this board at a model home or showroom. This large screen works as an interactive digital catalog. You can navigate through your products and services with the customer and because you can share the screen, they can join into this session as well. Even if you have a full web page with the catalog, the experience is much less than having an agent guide you through the experience. In the model home setup where the builder will guide you through different layouts of homes or different type of finishes and features, you can certainly do that by using large board like this, followed by different levels of finishes and fixtures. Now you have the ability to guide them through. I would say the digital catalog usage of this board is a bit of unique scenario. And the obvious use for this board would be for presentations. And because I'm an architectural designer, I could certainly do presentation on this where it would really shine. The board has quite a fast processor and OS that allows you to run useful native apps like these. More on that later, but I wanted to show you the use case of connecting my laptop with the Vibe board with a single USB type C connection to your laptop. You'll see a prompt and it now shows my laptop screen. And I can show a live presentation of my SketchUp model this way or do the renderings as well. And I can set this up in multiple ways. I can show the rendering on the big screen whilst I am showing the SketchUp model on my laptop. So whilst you guys are looking at the rendering, I can look at my 3D model and perhaps relocate a tree. Notice how that tree has now moved. I think it needs to go back where it was. So we can start to manipulate things inside of my model and have the client basically look at this screen instead. So this becomes all very natural. And because this is a touch enabled device, you can touch on the board to navigate through or orbit around your 3D model. So I can go from one scene to the other both you and the client can stand up against the screen and have a design discussion. By swiping from either of the edge, you can come into the quick annotation feature that I had mentioned. Pick up the pen from edge of the screen. There's one over there as well as one here. And now we can sketch on top of our model like this and perhaps move the tree over here or have a bit more lush planting over here. This will allow you to have a bit more active and engaged conversation with your client and ultimately achieve better designs together. And of course, you can make annotations on the drawings on your favorite PDF reviewer program. In my case, that would be Bluebeam Review. Whilst this app works really well on PC, there's no equivalent in mobile devices. So having a touch screen like this working together with Review is actually quite useful. It's almost strange that this would actually offer you much better pen annotation experience than what you would do on your computer with your own mouse. The best part about this experience is the fact that you can do all of this together with your collaborator. So without the laptop or any device connected, you can now utilize a Canvas app, Vive Canvas. And these are some of the drawings that I have already imported into the Vive Canvas. And I can click on a specific file. And these are the pages that belong into this PDF drawing. And this Vive Canvas is available in multiple devices such as your smartphone, tablets, and laptops, you name it. So I can log into my own web page here on my computer and I can go to this specific page that's shown up on the board. And as I make changes on my web browser, it's gonna 
apply the same changes on here. So I'm going to highlight some of the walls that I'm interested in changing. And that's all going to show up on real time. So multiple people can join the session and basically make annotations on the go. And you should be able to see all of them at the same time. And like I mentioned, you can download this on iOS or Android app or simply use your browser to access the files. You can import any drawings and visuals or start a new file with an infinite canvas to continue the ideation process. So this is an example of infinite board that I did some ideation with my children. Actually, I was teaching them how to read coordinates in Minecraft so that they can find their places, talking about positive and negative numbers, and hopefully they understood the concept. But you can certainly do ideation or drawings this way. And if you have a specific drawing that you want to share with your colleague, then you can just click on share so that they have specific link to join into this session. Or you can also export a PDF or email or export to other type of clouds. So whilst this large board format allows you to have live conversation with the client in the same room, you can share the screen with the client so that people can join in in remote session and make drawing changes or annotations on the drawings together. So this opens the door to not just the people there with you, but for the remote folks as well. Plus, because this is a native app, navigation is really intuitive and the overall app is very, very responsive. And as a little pen tip, you can use two buttons to navigate between two different pages or further on. So this becomes as your presentation remote, if you will or there is a button towards the front or the bottom of the pen and you can click that to change from pen mode to an eraser. There you go. And because the board is very large and allows intuitive controls, you can walk your clients through different virtual tour experiences. As a most basic level, you can show 360 photos. This is a 360 photo that I've taken in New York City Times Square, and you can look around in 360 view and discuss the condition with your client this way. Obviously, you can make annotations. So I think this is visible corner of this building. So we perhaps need to work around this corner. And perhaps this becomes a different volume. And why not have some trees? Yeah, I know it doesn't work on Times Square, but yeah. But if you have multiple photos available in your library, in your browser, then you can navigate through them and discuss that easily. And you can certainly walk them through streets of New York this way. The next level would be to do a full virtual tour. This is an example that I made with Kula. So you can just click on these navigation points and it's gonna have you walk through the project. And you can go up the stairs. And the next step would be to use Metaport. Here's a full 3D scan that was done through Metaport. As you saw, you have sort of the visual representation here on 3D. And then also you can double tap into go into that space and navigate through. And you can have further details on certain elements so that more photos or links are shown in this type of setup. Quite an interesting implementation with the touch board, right? And in conclusion, this specific board was Vibe Board S1 55 inch, and they also offer 75 inch model. 
I perhaps would not have been able to fit that large screen, the 75 inch into my studio. But as I have said, it definitely will shine better in larger presentation rooms and showcase spaces. As far as I can tell, it has really good color representation as long as the camera is focusing on the screen. And thanks to the 4K resolution, it is able to represent all text really sharp. And I can make out very fine prints that are up on the screen. And that will be a common occasion because you'll be in arm's length to interact with the screen and you'll be reading up a tiny little text that are up on the board. And because the screen is quite matte, it is able to reduce all the glares that are happening on the screen. I've got a lot of lights for the studio shots, so you are seeing some glares on the screen. However, it is able to reduce those glares that are actually visible in naked eyes. And also because it is matte, it is not as much of a fingerprint magnet. By the way, there are two more accessories that I didn't cover in this video. One is the Vive camera for the video conference. The other is Vive Tap, which allows you to connect your computer wirelessly. The camera would be useful if you intend to do more remote presentations and video conference purposes. However, there was no need for me to show you my overall computer setup with a webcam, so I didn't install this. But you can just mount it easily on top of the board like so and aim at your setup and it's just going to recognize the Vive webcam. And use Vive Tap if you prefer not to have any cables dangling around and connecting to your laptop. However, I prefer cable method because it is just simpler in a lot of ways. And this will have no delay in terms of your input on your computer versus what gets shown on the screen. And I also really appreciate the tech sharp picture that gets shown from my laptop onto this amazing display. So if you're interested in more information of the Vibe board, then be sure to check out their website via the link in the description. And I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.